all right so we are live okay so today's question is going to be very very interesting and let me just give you a short trailer of what we have in store here we go let's just say that we have a triangle like this okay well this happens to be the vertex this is the focus that's a particular point on the parabola right and this happens to be the axis of the parabola what you need to do is to make sure that a parabola passes through this point g like this wonderful isn't it and not just this we know that a parabola can be constructed by the tangent method but here we'll be applying the uh, very popular rectangle method secondly in this problem what you need to do <laughs> students is that you also need to create the directrix and you also need to find the double ordinate which is going to be somewhere here and also calculate the length between A and B. So all of this is going to be very interesting. And let's see how all of these things uh, really work out. Here we go. Let's read the question first. Okay, here we go. So let me just reduce my size. Okay, one sec. Okay, good enough. Just, just watch this. We need to construct a triangle EFG first of all. Okay, and then there are two lines, FG and fe both those lengths have been given to us as 40 and 20 we'll be working that out secondly this angle since it is a right angle obviously efg will be equal to 90 degrees then there is this point g which is on the parabola whose focus is on the point f as shown on the trailer if fe is part of the parabola's axis okay i'll be representing that very soon let's focus on the problem's description for now right draw the parabola and determine the double ordinate now some of you guys might be confused that's a what exactly is a double ordinate it is a kind of a chord not just any chord it's a special chord i'll let you know what that is at a distance of 80 mm from the directrix so uh, after the construction of parabola uh, we first of all need to locate the directrix once we have done that you can go ahead and mark the double ordinate followed by calculating or simply measuring its distance ab all of these things and much more coming up here we go let's start so sir the first step is going to be very simple what you need to do is you need to simply make a right angle triangle and as we know according to the problem description please go back okay and read that description once more fe has been given as 20 and fg has been given as 40 so based on whatever data we have been given i have made this rectangle wonderful next thing the next thing to do is to simply mark this e as vertex f as focus and g happens to be a point on the parabola when you make a parabola it actually is going to be something like this it is going to pass through the vertex and it is also going to pass through this point g because this has been given in the question wonderful you need to create a similar triangle similar right angle triangle over to this side which would look somewhat like this it's very easy i guess okay all right now simply construct a rectangle now as here we'll be constructing a parabola we'll be using the rectangle technique and uh, here it is lovely now what sir apply the rectangle method what do we need to do well basically we need to divide this portion and this portion into equal number of parts let's say if you go for four parts over here you need to go for four parts over here as well right so again uh, one more thing let me reiterate here also you need to go for four parts here also you need to go for four parts again line division is uh, very simple now this actually happens to be 40 millimeters so 40 divided by 4 will give you each division equal to 10 millimeters you can say this so this is going to be like this okay similarly students this over here is actually equal to 20 isn't it so 5 5 5 so 5 10 15 20 i, I hope uh, you got this this is very easy simply use a scale you don't have to use the line division technique simply with this scale over here you can do all of uh, this stuff very easily right so far so good okay let's proceed just a second all right <clears throat> let's proceed now 
watch here are the divisions once again here they are here they are want to zoom in let's zoom in four divisions four divisions four divisions over here four divisions over here one two three four now if we had gone for five divisions over here we would uh, i mean we had to go for five divisions over here also so same number of divisions on both the horizontal as well as the vertical line this is exactly how the rectangle method works right okay now what sir you simply need to connect these points through this vertex and we can do this in one go here it is very simple now let's say this is uh, sir let's say this is one this is two let's say this is three this is one dash this is two dash and let's say this is three dash students what you really need to do is you need to produce a vertical line through one dash which is going to intersect this line e1 somewhere here let me show this to you okay and by the way youtube now allows you to zoom in on the screen you simply need to pinch on your screen on that portion where you need to zoom okay simply pinch and this portion will automatically be zoomed i don't have to zoom in okay you guys can do it yourself right such is the technology these days anyway a oh, vertical line and this actually happens to be the first point on the parabola here it is mark lovely you can simply write there one okay or simply write p1 not one this is point two so e2 starting from two dash here it is p2 from three dash on e3 here it is p3 so we've got as many as three points inside this uh, half rectangle you can say okay so far so good let me erase all of these things the same construction has to be repeated over to this side so basically what i will do is i'll mirror all those points okay the same construction has to be repeated over here i'm sure you guys can implement this very very easily here it is okay so far so good and by the way uh moving ahead i would like to intimate all of you that there is a course running right now on my application manas patnaik uh, the link to which can be found in the description down below you can enroll in the engineering drawing course where complete videos both in english and in hindi are available secondly there are complete pdf notes whatever you are watching right now okay uh, the drawings that i make all of them are in high definition pdf right so you can watch all of those notes if you access the entire course either via pc or simply uh, by your mobile device there are mcq questions for each and every chapters okay there are mcq type full length test there are subjective type practice problems where you need to make drawings there are subjective type full length tests as well so there is a lot in store for all of you does not matter which uh, university you come from i have tried to cover the syllabus of each and every indian university so download the manas patnaik app as soon as possible link is in the description thank you very much and now let's proceed with the question sir now what to do okay so uh, we actually know this that we need to create the parabola no problem but we also need to find the directrix because you need to find a double ordinate okay so once the parabola is made you need to find the location of double ordinate how does that work and by the way this fe is a part of parabola's axis let me show this to you here it is fe this is a part of parabola's axis let me employ the deploy the red color okay now here it is simply extend randomly whatever length do not worry randomly extend in both the direction this way this way so the parabola is going to be somewhat uh, in this fashion let me let me just make a rough diagram this way this way it is very difficult to make a parabola through a pen tablet okay now what you need to do is simply take this much amount as the radius in your compass or rounder okay now with this as center cut an arc so all the points like you have made three points over here you can similarly make three points over here using using this much as the radius okay so implement here it is let me show this to you same okay and similarly students what you need to do is you need to take this much amount as the radius 
okay and then with this as center cut an arc this is the point you'll get then with this as center cut an arc this is the point that you'll get this is center cut an arc this is the point that you'll get i'm sure you now have a fair idea as to how all of these points have been marked these points have been marked with this much as the radius these points have been marked with this much as the radius or this much as the radius okay you can mark i have marked as many as four points over here okay left and bottom here also right and bottom four points you can make more than four points as per your choice no problem okay four points is enough for me and you'll see that why i did it so far so good now what sir now what okay uh how do we proceed now watch i'm going to be making construction now over to this side earlier i made construction over here and then i showed you the shortcut okay i told you to repeat the same over to this side now i'm going to be making the construction over here and uh, let's see what happens make sure that you connect all of these points all of these points with e and when that happens this is how it looks lovely now the way you had a vertical drawn in the upward direction now you will have a vertical in the downward direction like this mark a point downward mark a point downward mark a point and finally you will have this and this this is going to be your final point let's see now students uh, the same construction the same construction has to be repeated over to this side right over to this side let me let me let me switch my place uh seven that would be better three yeah the same construction has to be repeated over to this side and it would look like this wonderful now as you can see we've got sufficient points and we can pass a curve through this lovely isn't it and the curve would look like this what kind of a sound is this strange kind of a sound <laughs> anyway this is exactly how the uh, parabola looks like so parabola has been constructed now sir as we read in the problem where is the problem here it is so uh, you said that we need to mark the double ordinate at a distance of 80 from the directrix we now are able to visualize the parabola but sir where the hell is the directrix once you find the directrix locate it then you can go ahead and mark the double ordinate let's let's do this here we go <clears throat> here it is so uh parabola you remember one thing there is this very important uh parameter which actually describes the parabola that is eccentricity so as long as eccentricity is equal to one the point the locus of the point would obviously uh, create a parabola distance of the point from focus divided by the distance of the point from the directrix so let's say there is a point some uh, let's say there is this point uh, what shall i do point d on the directrix is equal to one you see the directrix will be right here what is the reason sir e happens to be a point on the parabola its distance from focus is 20 and e's distance from directrix will be 20 so at a height of again at this height of 20 millimeters simply mark a point right o over there and simply pass a horizontal line through it that automatically qualifies as the directrix easy okay sir that's done right once you've marked the directrix now you need to go ahead and mark the double ordinate so the double ordinate happens to be at a distance of 80 millimeters from the directrix so at a distance of 80 millimeters from over here let me do this from over here this is 40 and 40 more okay at a distance of in totality it is 80 millimeters again you will get a point somewhere here and from that point pass a line so that it touches on both the ends or both the branches you can say of the parabola right on either side of the parabola or either side of the axis let's say to be very precise one cuts at a let me zoom in then only you can have a better picture can we zoom further no this is where it cuts right above this point this is where it cuts at a and this is at b so this happens to be your double ordinate double ordinate is basically a chord a special chord listen to this double ordinate is a special chord which which intersects the axis at an angle of 90 degree that is the speciality it is not just any 
कॉर्ड एनी टॉम डिक और हैरी इट इज अ स्पेशल कॉर्ड राइट विच इंटरसेक्ट द एक्सिस एट एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्रीज वंडरफुल इज एन इट ओके लेट मी रेज ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स सो दैट वॉज टू दीज क्वेश्चन ओके सो गाइज येस दैट वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड फॉर टूडे आई बी ब्रिंकिंग मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन इंजीनियरिंग एंड ड्रॉइंग आई फाउंड दैट दिस वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम विथ यू ओके इफ यू गॉट एनी डाउट्स और क्वेरीज टू राइट दम डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन not in the description to write them down in the comment section and down below and enroll in my engineering drawing course as soon as possible i know that the colleges have started functioning since the in the from the month of november so make sure that you prepare very very well and robustly for engineering drawing good day thank you very much